Hello devs, uh, this video is about uh, how to set up a PayPal sandbox account or a developer account. Later on, I'm going to make it part of a series that uh, will show you how to use it with different uh, WordPress development environment like Gravity Form, WooCommerce, etc. Uh, I'm about to log into my newly created account and this is how I created it. You can just uh, go straight to this link. I mean, uh, PayPal normally would give you runaround for everything, but uh, this uh, just to save you time, I'm just going straight here and I'm going to make this uh, link available for you uh, so that uh, you don't have to waste any more time. Go there, create the account and uh, come up here. And now let's go log in. All right. So now that we are in the account, and let's go find out what it created for us. Okay, so from the very word go, it's going to give us a personal account and the business account. The business account is to use uh, with the merchant site where uh, you're going to have like a WooCommerce or a Gravity Form on a website when you're collecting the payment this is the one to use and uh, this one is to use to purchase things like uh, whenever you're going to test in a, a transaction this is the one you use to uh, finish the transaction uh, pay the customer or a merchant right besides this default ones if we want to create our own we should uh, click here And right here also, it gives us uh, two choices, personal or a business. So let's go with the personal first. All right. So we got our new one and the other one also, let's say business. Let's go with this one. And we got our two other accounts. Now, previously, they used to let us change these names and uh, use whatever we wanted. But uh, looks like these days, they're not no longer allowing us to change this too much. But what we can change is by going here. Here, we can, uh, you know, what I tried and successfully was the changing the password and some other things like uh, let's go this is the api credentials this is where you can find some cases woocommerce requires that uh, also in some cases uh, like a gravity form paypal pro version whatnot also funding right so here let's say if i want to add another ten thousand here make it fifteen thousand i should be able to do it and now i have 15,000 so this this is the amount is going to be used for the transactions and such let's go straight to the sandbox right and this time we're going to make it into two windows here so that we can so let's say want to go with the login and, and notice this, this is the sandbox PayPal, right? So here we are going to, let's say, try this um, business account first. And for password, let's go here. Try to log in. And uh, this is the basically the default 5,000 to start with everybody. And this is the one that uh, once we added that 10,000, this is the total. And all the transactions are going to show up right there. And uh, the same thing you will find out if we uh, use this, uh, this personal one also but we normally don't use it so much. Mainly we're gonna be using this one and uh, we will use uh, this guy just to make the purchases and stuff. 
and uh, in the future videos, uh, these are the accounts we're going to be using to perform transactions and uh, setting up the Gravity form on a WordPress. And uh, thereby, um, I will keep showing you uh, the usage of you know the setting up and functionality and implementation of all those in multiple videos. That's about it for this video, and uh, hope to bring you more of these. Thanks for watching.